How are you doing? I'm Danielle, aka Queen Bee, and I just thought I would do a, a video with um, my kid. She saw that I got a diamond painting in the mail, so she really, really wanted me to film her unboxing it and was kind of grouchy about it. So if she's kind of snarky <laughs> in the video, <laughs> it's because she's like, Mom, you always get things for yourself, and you never get anything for me. Little does she know, I have plans to get her a very cool diamond painting of her own. So, I don't know what she's complaining about, but anyway. So, here is her filming, or my filming her, sorry, unboxing it, or opening the envelope. It was in an envelope. I'll see you back here in a second. Mom cut this open because she thinks I can't open it. <laughs> I already know what it is. Huh. You order stuff all the time. It's you are time. just my type. And I refuse this one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Oh, these are the uh, diamonds that go with that. Okay. Typical tools with the... Ooh, but there's like a fancy placer on this one. It's like... Like a nine placer. Hmm? Why is there Peppa Pig stickers? Oh! Peppa Pig! Ew! They sometimes give free gifts. That's cute. We're giving those to Chloe. Oh, definitely. That's final. Yep. I don't mind that. Case closed. <laughs> Yeah, they do that. They give sometimes they give stickers or like bracelets or something in diamond painting kits. But anyway, this is the that good boat with the funnel on it and a pink pen with a single placer. And I think that's a nine placer up there. Bags and wax. Yay! Here's a better picture of this. You are just my type. Mm. It's really corny, but I love it. Because it's so cheesy. You ready to say goodbye? Bye. I'm going to run these over right now. Alright. <laughs> See you later. See ya. See ya. Peace. Alright. I'm back. Did you enjoy my daughter unboxing? She really wanted to unbox this uh, this diamond painting, so yeah, she saw it when it came in the mail. So she wanted to do the opening of it. So there we go. It came on a foam roller or foam core, which is nice. Uh, it's 20 by 25, so it's not big, and the scale kind of indicates to me that that's why it's one sheet. The paper is not cut, but that's okay. I'm just gonna peel it back here, see me doing it. Oh, I've seen other people get this um, company. It's uh, 
Drill shiny. So, I, they're pretty reputable. There's the typewriter. <laughs> Isn't that cute? It's a, it's down lower here. It says you are, um, you are just my type. <laughs> and for those of you who know me and my background, uh, I am a, uh, if you can be a certified poet, <laughs> I am. I've been published a few times, and that's what my degree is in, is in creative writing, specifically poetry. And I did write on a typewriter. Uh, my entire first term of college was done on an electric um, memory writer, kind of a typewriter. It had a floppy drive. <laughs> Here's the other side. You are just my type. <laughs> Super cute. Super cute. I'm so glad I got this one. It's perfect. It's a pun, and it's got a really cool typewriter. My typewriter that I had was actually almost exactly like that one. So, yeah. I have a collection. I have, um... Well, the, the typewriter I worked on in college with the floppy, I still have. And I have um, an IBM Selectric typewriter with several balls that go in, so you can change your fonts. Um, I have... I really like using that Selectric. It's a nice typewriter. I can see why everybody had one back in the old days. Because they're so nice to type on. Um, and I've got my great-grandma's typewriter. I've got my dad's typewriter. I've got a lot of them. <laughs> so, I like them. I like using them. So, anyway, I inventoried everything, and this is what I like to do, is I put everything in a Ziploc bag, including the toolkit. It's in there. You can't really see it, but it's in there. Um, and I go through and check off all the diamonds, and I fold it so that you can see the picture of the corresponding um, painting that it goes with so because I'm the kind of person that would lose track of all of that so that's what I like to do is put them in a ziploc and I should mention when I took these diamonds out of that bigger bag that they all come packaged in they did not smell so that leaves me feeling really good <laughs> Yeah, so there you have it. There's the typewriter um, diamond painting unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm a bit frazzled still. It's still back to school time, so it's kind of like <clears throat> crazy. So, anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to see this channel grow and thrive, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.